Hey everybody, it's Trigger Bar Philosopher. Welcome back out to the channel. Today we have a exciting episode where we're going to be talking about the Beretta 1301 Mod 2, but in particular we're going to be looking at two different types of buckshot. We have the lab radar out. We're going to try to get some readings on that and see how these two compare while shooting out of this shotgun. Let's get to shooting. As you can see, this is the 1301. It has the more mod 2. It has the more aggressively textured handguard. It has a pro lifter in it. Still has the same blink operating system that came with the sights, the ghost sights from the factory. I have a Sig Romeo 5 on top. I have used a row tactical adapter plate to adapt to this Magpul stock. And then I have the extra cheek riser so I can get right up into that dot. So today we're going to be taking a look at two forms of buckshot. It's the new flight control from Federal. That's supposed to be one of the best for, uh, buckshots. Nine pellet, five shot in this box. But then a much more sensible, in terms of price performance, defense dynamics from Fiocchi. We're going to take hook them up to the lab radar and see what the power difference is between these two. All right, so first up we have the Federal flight control. We'll shoot, we've loaded in seven rounds. Of note, I should, uh, I was only able to load six. It's supposed to be a seven round chamber, but with the double op buck from Federal Flight Control, I was only able to load six. So let's see what, uh, let's see what this gives us. Ooh, error. Could not acquire the projectile. Let's see if we can cha make a ch setting change on this. All right, let's try it now. Could not acquire the projectile. Could not acquire it. Well, we won't be testing this today, and we may be just done. All right, well, we're continuing to test the Beretta 1301. We have some loads with the Federal Flight Control, and we have some loads with the Fiocchi Dynamic Defense, or Home Defense. Let's see if you can tell the difference in these. I could definitely tell. Okay, everybody, we've returned home and uh, we're just going to do a little bit of a summary here. I got a little frustrated at the range because, you know, I thought I'd be able to test the velocities of the buckshot on my lab radar, but should have read the manual before I went out and the lab radar does not, uh, is not able to capture uh, buckshot or any kind of bird shot. Uh, I'm sure we could do some testing with, with some slugs. So either we're going to have to get the Garmin 0C1 or we're going to have to, you know, get a more traditional chronograph. But yeah, so uh, velocity testing was not it. When we look at this Federal Buckshot versus uh, the Fiocchi Buckshot, uh, they both are nine pellets, double up buck. And, uh, but the Federal is going quite a bit faster. It does have the flight control wad, which should mean that it's going just a little bit uh, straighter as well. Uh, in the testing that I did, I didn't get it out far. I didn't really notice a difference um, in, you know, sort of self-defense, home defense type situations, uh, 10 yards and in, it's, it's, it's gonna be fine. But if we just go off the box, the Federal uh, flight control wad, double up buck is going about 1325 and the Fiocchi is going about 1250. And certainly I could feel it when I was shooting the, the, the shotgun. I could feel just the recoil differences in, in, in my arm. As I was reviewing the video, I noticed that it, it really didn't look like it was, you know, the recoil was any more significant or the explosion was any more bigger or the impact on the, on the target was any different. Uh, the only way I could tell it was from the blue, uh, sorry, from the red um, uh, rounds flying out instead of the uh, white ones. So, but uh, yeah, so for, so far, uh, 
really happy with the Mod 2 uh, Beretta 1301. This Pro Lifter makes it really easy to load in your shells without getting your fingers pinched. Uh, it, it, I really am appreciating the Blink operating system with how fast. Certainly, I think I could be using the, the A300 or the Mossberg uh, uh, 590 just fine, and I wouldn't be able to overrun that trigger either. Just for what it's worth, I'm, I'm just not that great of a shooter. Uh, but I did want the Blink operating system because it's been hi so highly touted and so highly rated, and so I, that's what that's what I ended up going with it. Uh, I am really liking the Magpul stock. I, I pointed that out at the beginning of the video, but just getting that extra little bit of cheek riser on it, I think does make a difference. So far, the Sig Sauer Romeo 5 is holding up. I probably only have about 350 rounds or so on, on this gun now, uh, uh, but so far the mount, everything is doing well. I do have the ADM lower mount on that. I just want to make sure I had a solid mount for for this dot and, and made sure. So I am finding that it, I'm not able to load the seven rounds. I'm only typically able to load six rounds uh, in the in the tube and then and then one in the chamber. And then of course you can you can do that other type of loading where it's ghost loaded uh, in 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 just above the the pro lifter. Uh, I do have this STAC. I didn't really talk about it, but shotgun card, uh, which is pretty cool. You can just flip that off and and pop on another one. I have a few of those. Uh, that I can have loaded up. Uh, these also do fit in your uh, plate carriers because they're about the same size as an AR-15 magazine. So that makes it pretty nice and then obviously uh, pretty pretty quick to get off and, and, and load the weapon uh, in that way. I am not proficient in that. I'm not going to pretend to educate you on that, but that's the general idea if this is the first time you're seeing something like that. Uh, and so again, I'm, I'm giving my reviews, maybe not to the tactical expert, but to someone who's just trying to dabble into this and, and explore and learn from it. And so, yeah, so those, those, those are from uh, STAC. You can get uh, other ones on Amazon, but the STAC is generally known to be the best. I do have the Blue Force uh, Gear uh, Vickers Sling. It's padded Vickers Sling, and I like that, of course. It, uh, you do have to modify it just a little bit, uh, not modify it, you just have to cut it down because it's going to be a little bit shorter of, of a gun. And then overall, what, what generally surprises me is sort of the first time owner of a, of a tactical shotgun is just how light this is. This is just a very lightweight weapon system, even with the shotgun placard on it. It's just, it's just a very light overall system. It's got a very short barrel than what I'm used to with most shotguns, but... Dang, I would have would have loved to have uh, had this pheasant and and duck and, and deer hunting, or sorry, pheasant and duck and dove hunting when I was younger because it's just pretty lightweight. And, and yeah, there is a lot of polymer on it, but whoops, uh, hit 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 that uh, slide release button. But there is a lot of polymer on it, and that's why it's so light. But uh, in general, inside all steel uh, components, and 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 really like it. So let me know what you guys think about the Beretta 1301 Mod 2. Uh, is this something that you're looking to get into? What else would you like to see from me in terms of reviews? I would appreciate input there. I hope everyone has a great week and, and uh, I hope that you stay safe and let's get to shooting.